moments and some difficult moments because songs like Fall and Fire, I didn't think was my style. And there are literally times where the producer had to say, maybe not in these words, I only put on the spot. They was like, get your butt back in that booth and do this song. You can do this because once again, people can put you in a box. Oh, Michelle, she's the gospel one or she's the conservative one or she doesn't do anything. She doesn't hang out, blah, 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 blah. So I thought, even going back to my first gospel album, I was told that it must sound like a traditional gospel album. So when they started coming to me with music that they would give to the other R&B pop artists, I got a little nervous. So we had some great moments in tour. I just finally gave it up and said, man, okay, you know what you're doing. Produce this record. And Eric Dawkins um, as well, but from the legendary Dawkins and Dawkins is on here, um, on Need Your Help, um, the first track. So um, it was a great process. Two years in the making. I started this in the summer of 2012. Um, at a time where I didn't know if I could record it, if I could sing, because when you're suffering with some issues, you know, the depression, some people are able to write and create in that moment. And for me, I wasn't able to do that. Um, got to LA and things changed. Kelly Rowland put me up with the producer Harmony, said you gotta work with Harmony because he did three songs on her album. Um, and the song he and I are on her album, he did. And um, that's how Journey to Freedom happened. Now, you 